my friends, it's Joey. Today is Sunday, it's sunny outside, it's the day we talk about creative and artistic decorating. Meaning living in a curated space, decorated using things we love. Speaking of things we love, I love IKEA and today we're going to be talking about IKEA because they partnered with one of my favorite designers for a couple collections. But before we get started, if you would like to see more videos by us, please click that subscribe button, click that notification bell. It really supports us in building an arts community for everybody. So this week we went to Ikea in Vancouver and the reason why was because they featured one of my favorite designers, Ilsa Crawford, and she has a collection of beautiful vases there. Ilsa Crawford is a British designer and one of the things I really love about her is that she recognizes that we spend 87% of our life in buildings. It makes perfect sense that decorating affects the way we feel and the way we behave. Ilsa believes decorating is not purely for aesthetics and it's not about shopping and it's not about consuming. When we decorate spaces, we need to understand the lives that are going to be lived in the space. We do this by understanding people's systems, their habits, their thought processes, and the tools that they use to enhance their lives. It's really interesting that her father was an economist and her mother was an artist and so she understands the need for things to work but also the need for things to be appreciated. During her professional career, she's been a journalist, she was one of the founding editors of Elle Decor, a teacher, and she founded her own design studio. You could find more about her by reading her books. There's a Netflix series called Abstract, and you could go to Ikea and buy her products. Okay, let's talk about these vases. They're all called Constful. This new family of mouth-blown glass vases by British designer Ilsa Crawford and her design studio, Studio Ilsa, are made from recovered glass. So we have this beautiful green circular vase. I was able to get this incredible textured vase as well. I've got this one for tiny flower displays, but also great for cuttings. And the same as this beautiful black one, also for cuttings, but also for small flower arrangements as well. There are four reasons why Ilsa Crawford is one of the most influential designers for me. Number one, she starts with a strategy. Like I said, it's not about shopping, it's not about consuming, it's about creating amazing spaces for the humans that are going to be living or working in those spaces. She thinks about what she's going to do in the space, but I love she also thinks about what's going to happen after she's done designing the space. How are people going to live in that design? Within her design strategies, she uses sustainable products that have a positive impact on the environment and also mental health. She did an amazing design for a luxury hotel in Stockholm called Ethem. Because it is a small hotel, 12 rooms, it was very difficult to separate front of the house from back of the house, so she decided to intertwine them. And so when you go to that hotel, you see the work that goes into making such a beautiful space. The beautiful thing that she was able to do was staff were able to feel like it was their place and they were welcoming guests into their home. Instead of just a hotel, it looks like a beautiful place to rest. It looks like a home. Number two, she designs for the senses. It doesn't feel good to dash through life in soulless spaces that are not well designed. We have to think about the way a space can change our behavior and how we interact with the people in there. We have to think about how it looks, how it sounds, how it smells, and how it feels. And number three, of course, I love that she was a teacher. And I love that she understands that a teacher is not above the students. A teacher is a coach for the next generation. So that means listening to the students' ideas and help them develop ideas and show them the processes that have come before them. She wants to inspire her students and create a safe space for them to learn. Because she believes teaching is a way of exploring ideas that will impact our future. And lastly, number four, one of the most inspirational projects that she completed was a soup kitchen design. She did it on a very small budget. Together with the owners of the program, they wanted to design a place to build community. A place to bring society together and heal issues. 
She wanted to design an area with great lighting, plants, beautiful tabletops, nice chairs, seating areas. The point of the project was to show that someone cares. I hope you fall in love with Ilsa's decorating as much as I do. If you get to Ikea and are able to pick some up, I highly recommend them. Thanks very much and I will see you next week for another decorating talk.